Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. Let's talk today about the Mac and the download and installation process. Maybe a little different than other things you see on the Mac, but it's easy to do and I know you can handle it. I'm going to work in Safari. Any web browser will work just fine. We're going to go to www.rtsystems.us forward slash software. You can get to this through the link in the email you were sent if you purchased your product from RT Systems. You can get to it from the downloads link on our web page or you can get to it from the information that's on the card in the product that you purchased from your dealer. This is RT Systems Program Retrieval page. We're going to enter email address and we're going to enter the serial number. The serial numbers are not case sensitive but I do recommend the spaces. So if you make a mistake and it argues with you about group three, group four, whichever, you know immediately where to look. Select operating system. It hasn't done anything, but if I click here, Mac is available. You want to be sure to download Mac and download. While that downloads, I'm going to highlight this and Command C to copy it. That download is finished, and in my downloads directory that you get to either through Finder or I have one on my desktop, and the zip file opens with the programmer installation a little readme with some basic information, and drivers. Let me explain. The drivers have not been needed since Catalina. That's Mac version 10.15.5. Anything newer than that, and our cables just work without having to install drivers. So my only installation here is the programmer. Open it. The installer starts. Next. And this is why you did the Command C, because now you can do Command V and not have to type that whole thing all over again. We're going to let it go into applications. You can browse and put this wherever you want, but applications works just fine for us. and finish. And we're all done. But where did it go? Don't need this anymore. I'm either going to go into Launchpad and find what I just installed, or I can go to Finder and Applications and find what I just installed. I double click. The programmer comes up and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do the initial communications, get data from radio, to sync that radio to the computer, and then we'll build a file. We'll do that in the next video, show you how that's done, and get you going on the next step. So I hope this helps. This is Karen, and remember, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.